hello welcome to Izzy's Tarot thank you for coming to my channel you could have gone anywhere but you came to my channel for that I'm always grateful thank you so much I am going to do a Scorpio rainbow LGBTQ plus love prediction reading for July 31st through August 6th please keep in mind this is a general read if it's not your story it's not your story don't try to make it your story just take what you can from it and leave the rest in addition this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your partner's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled, honored, and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my passionate, secretive, loving, kind Scorpios show me what's going on my tent Scorpios let's see Scorpios what you got going on let's see ace of pentacles two of wands the chariot King of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. Well, you know, I see the Ace of Pentacles is starting this reading. This reading is about somebody, and I think this is you that has the paper. You got a bag. Um, when I say you got a bag, you got money. You have paper because this Ace of Pentacles is all about being generous, kind. Uh, excuse me, being generous with with your money, having an abundant life. Um, I see you have that kind of life. You do have that kind of life. Um, but here's the deal. There's something that's missing here. Um, I do see also the Two of Wands here. And when I see the Two of Wands, that means discontentment to me. You're discontent. You're not happy. Even though you have this paper, you have this money, you have this bag. But you're not happy because I strongly believe that you don't have a partner right now. And I believe that what you really want is your heart space to be filled. You've got the paper. You've got this bag here. But your heart space is not filled. And this two of wands means you're just discontent. You're trying to figure out what you're doing wrong. Why don't you have a significant other a partner? Um, but I see in the middle of the reading, the chariot card, I think you're going to go all out for it. And the chariot card means moving forward, not looking back, not worrying about what you don't have, but moving forward to what you do. The chariot card also represents a cancer sun sign. So there could be a cancer in your love space. I don't know, but the chariot does mean moving forward. It, do, it means moving forward. It also is as above, so below. So whatever you're wanting, whatever you want, the universe is working in your favor for you to get that. Like I said, though, you've got the paper. You just don't have the love. I see the King of Pentacles energy here. Now, I'm going to tell you, I think what the problem is, is that the King of Pentacles energy is here. First of all, there's nothing wrong with being a, having a King of Pentacles energy. That's money. You know how to make your money. You know how to grow your money. You know how to take care of your money. You're very good with your paper. Um, but here's the deal with the King of Pentacles energy, that energy of the King of Pentacles King of Pentacles energy can be arrogant sometimes. They know they have the money. They could be rich. They could be wealthy. I mean, they I mean, they got the money. They know all these things. But also, the King of Pentacles is used to people coming after them. And see, I think that um, no one's coming after you. I'm sorry. That's just what I see. But the King of Pentacles just sits back because, you know, normally, let me say, let me, let me rephrase that. It's not that no one is coming after you. The people that you want, the right type of person is not coming. And I think it has a lot to do with you because of your energy space with this King of Pentacles. Because sometimes the King of Pentacles, like I said, can be arrogant. She can be uh, very much, um, gets what she wants, um, very full of herself sometimes. Um, this energy um, has an energy of, you know, I have the money, then you need to come be with me. But here's the deal. Those type of people that do come to you, everything that glitters is not gold. Those type of people that come to you, they come to you only for the money. There's no substance. They don't care about you, really. And that is the problem. You keep wanting these people to come to you, and they do. 
You do have experiences. You do have entanglements with people, but it's not real love. And here's that Knight of Pentacles here. And to me, that Knight of Pentacles is you're um, trying to figure out what to do to get real love. Because the Knight of Pentacles is being determined. You are determined to get real love. You are determined not to be by yourself. Um, not that it's, it's, and it's not, let me say this. It's not that you don't have people, but you're determined to get someone to love and to um, have the right kind of experience with. Because right now you're not. You've got this money. You're discontent though because your heart space not filled. Because the people that are coming to you are just that. They're gold diggers. They're gold diggers. They're coming to you just for your paper. And guess what? That's what you what you um seek is what you get. And now here you are with this Knight of Pentacles being determined to get someone that really, really loves you and that you can love them back. You are that's that's your main goal. So give me three to five minutes and let me clarify this reading, but I definitely see it very, very clearly what's going on. I'm gonna clarify. Just sit back and like give me three to five minutes. Let me see what the spirit guys want to tell you. Why is this ace of pentacles here? Show me spirit guys. Why is the ace of pentacles here? Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords. Uh, uh, that's where you are. With this Nine of Swords, you, you know, you're, you're having, you know, you're having, <laughs> I believe you're unfocused. Um, you're having bad dreams and nightmares because you know what you're worried about is that you're going to be lonely for the rest of your life. You're not going to have a true love for the rest of your life. That is what you are concerned about. The Nine of Swords is like, this has really been on your mind. You, you, um, this has been your focus. But yet, um, you are unfocused because you do not have true love in your life. So let's see why this Two of Wands is here. Why is the Two of Wands here? Show me spirit, guys. Ace of Cups. That's what you want, that real love, right? That unconditional, agape, God-given love. That's what you want, that, um, that forgiving love. This is what you want, not what you have, not the gold diggers. You want the real love, that ace of cups that just loves, love, love, love. That's what you want. You want someone to fill your heart space. So let's see why the chariot card is here. Show me spirit guides. Why is the chariot card here for my Scorpios? Show me. Queen of Wands. What? Thank you, spirit guides. My Queen of Wands is also is always my wifey card to me. You want a wifey? That's what you want. Queen of Wands, she's a leader. She, she's a gorgeous woman. She could be a fire sign. Um, when I say, um, um, she could be a fire sign. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But this is the kind of woman you want because you want a wifey. Queen of Wands is a, is a wifey woman. When she walks in, people know her. She wants people to know her. She can be a little bit forced. Why? She could be a little bit, you know, she stands up for herself. She's not afraid of, of doing that. But you want a partner. You want a love partner, someone that you can marry, someone that you can be with, someone that possibly if you guys decide you can build a family with, you want a partner. And the chariot card is here, which lets me know you are definitely going for it. And the universe is working on your behalf. Like I said, the chariot card means moving forward. It can also mean represent a sun, uh, a cancer sun sign. But the chariot card, it could be anyone. This is a general read. But the, cancer, but the uh, chariot card means moving forward. Not looking back anymore, not worrying about whatever in the past. You're already, you're discontent here, but you're moving forward. You're moving forward. You are determined. You are determined. Oh, your cards are ready to talk to me. Let's see. Why is this King of Pentacles here? Show me. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the King of Pentacles here for my Scorpios? Oh, look at that Wheel of Fortune. Look at that wheel of fortune. Get your attitude. You're getting your attitude right. And when you get your attitude right, when you realize that you've been dealing with just gold diggers and you get your attitude right, this is what happens. Karma, good karma comes to you. The wheel, wheel of fortune, that means good karma is on its way. You are getting your, you have got, got, you figured it out now and your attitude is right. So what you put out is what you get back. The will of fortune, what you put out, that karma that you put out is what you're getting back. Not the karma that you had before when you thought everybody should come flocking to you when you figured out that they were gold diggers. Here's the will of fortune, that karma. Will of fortune is here. Absolutely. So let's see why is the knight of pentacles here. Why is the knight of pentacles here? Show me spirit, guys. Also, the will of fortune can um, 
can be a karmic lesson that you needed to learn too. Uh, because the Wheel of Fortune can um, also mean a karmic relationship you may have had. And I think you've had a lot of karmic relationships because I do believe there have been just gold diggers that you've been dealing with. All they wanted you for was your money. There was never no real, no, there was never ever really true love here. So let's see why the Knight of Pentacles is here. But I strongly believe also that what you're putting out is different now. So the universe is um, in, on your behalf and, every, and things are going to move forward in a positive way. Good karma. So let's see why the Knight of Pentacles is here. Page of Swords. Page of Swords is my communication. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you know, that Knight of Pentacles with that Page of Swords up there. You're very smart. You might even be uh, looking at some of the uh, dating apps because, you know, a lot of people use dating apps. I've had a friend that got married from a dating app, um, but a lot of people utilize their dating app, these dating apps. But more importantly, with this page of swords, you're now beginning to open your mouth and talk. You're also beginning to um, socialize rather than have everybody run to you. You're beginning to choose. I mean, I think you're watching people's uh, possibly media, uh, their social media. You, you're choosing now. You're not just letting them, you're choosing who you want now. And you're, you're being communicative. You're talking to people. You're trying to figure it out for yourself. You're trying to learn uh, what type of woman you want. And guess what? It's working. Because the Knight of Pentacles is a determination. You're determined to find out. You're determined to go on different dates. You're determined to have communication with a different type of person. Let's start at the beginning, Ace of Pentacles. You got a bag. You, you got a lot. You got some paper. You definitely got some paper, but here's the Nine of Swords here. Along with this Two of Wands, you're discontent because you you have this money, but your heart space is not filled. Nine of Swords is you worrying that you're going to be alone. You're having nightmares that you're going to be sitting up in bed by yourself at, you know, 85 years old. That's what you're that's what you're worried about right now. Also, you have the Ace of Cups here. You want to love someone. You want to be in love. Um, you want someone that is, um, loves you back, but not just for your money. You want a God-given love, an agape love, and an unconditional love. You want to be in love, and you're not. Your heart space is not filled. Here's a chariot card, which can't represent a cancer sun sign, but the chariot card means go. It means go. Don't look back. Move forward, because you want a wifey with this queen of wands bottom line. Here's a king of pentacles, which is you. King of Pentacles, you got the paper, you got the bag. Sometimes you can be arrogant, but you know, all these people that have been flocking to you have been gold diggers, but guess what's happening? You're changing your mindset because the will of fortune is there. That means that now there's good karma coming. There's good karma. You also had to learn a lesson that the gold diggers really didn't have your heart space, didn't want your heart. They just wanted to be with you because your money. You're determined with this Knight of Pentacles, and now here's the page of swords. You're, you're speaking. You're talking. You're trying to figure out what you want. You're looking at social media. You're trying to figure out if that's the right kind of person you want. You are choosing now. You are very choosing now. That communication card, that page of swords means you're choosing. Let's see. Show me, spirit guys. Oracle, show me. What do you want to say? What do you want to say? 